what is the best way to attach a lure to your line? Should you use split rings, barrel swivels, snap swivels, or should you just direct tie it right onto your line? The answer will be in today's video, so stay tuned, hope you guys enjoy. There's a couple different options to choose from, so let's go over them real quick. So first up we have here is just a direct tie, right? This is gonna be your most natural presentation because there's no gear in between just the single knot to your lure. There's obviously lots of different choices for knots, but you're probably gonna have to retie every couple fish because that line can wear down and that knot can fail. Option number two is the split ring. Now, the thing about the split ring is that it's usually pre-installed on many lures, but you can choose to take that off and do something else if you would like. There's tons of different sizes and uh, strengths for split rings, and they're very easily changed with just a good pair of split ring pliers. Option number three is the snap. Now the snap is really nice because it allows for a quick change of lures. It's really good on a day where you've, you know, you're running through a lot of different lures to find a good bite. They're not as bulky as a snap swivel, which we will talk about next. And there's a lot of different sizes and strengths available for these guys as well. Now, last but not least here, we have the snap swivel. Now the snap swivel is nice because of that swivel on there. It gets rid of line twists, which we'll talk about in a bit. It's easy to change lures as well because of the snap feature. Comes in a lot of different sizes. However, it can be very bulky at times. There's also two types of snap swivels. I prefer the ones with the little hook on the end. I think that those ones are going to hold up a lot longer. I've had the straight wired ones break on me in the past. So if you're gonna pick up a swivel, I'd recommend getting the little curved one at the end. Now that we know what we're working with here, let's go through each lure and see how I would attach it to my line. Option number one here is just going to be a straight hook. Now, I've seen a lot of people connect swivels and maybe you guys have as well connect a swivel onto a hook and it just looks really, really bad. And I think the fish know it as well. I think it's a lot stronger as well. There's less gear and less things to tangle up in your hook. And I think it's getting giving a better presentation to the fish. So always, always do a direct tie to a hook. Never use a swivel. Now the next category here is going to be spinners and spoons. And for these two, I am always gonna be using a snap swivel. And the reason why is because spinners and spoons twist a lot in the water. And for anybody that's fished a spinner or a spoon a lot, you'll know that like every 20 to 30 casts, you've gotta lift your line up, you've gotta let the lure untangle in the line, and then you're able to fish again. But if you have a snap swivel, not only are you not getting those twists, but because of the snap, you're able to change out lures really fast. And that can be super helpful on days where the fish are picky and you're trying to throw the kitchen sink at them to figure out what they're gonna bite on. The only problem I have with snap swivels is that they can sometimes take away the realism of a lure because they are a little bulky. But luckily there's a couple companies that make some super small ones. And usually your line is always going to break before the swivel will ever, you know, ever break. So definitely the little ones are really, really strong and are worth it. And frankly, with a spinner and a spoon, you've got a giant hook on the end anyway. So if the fish is being that picky, you might as well just go home. Now for crankbaits and hard baits, I am always going to be using a snap. And the nice thing about the snap is that you can change lures so quick. Now, unlike the snap swivel, this one will not get rid of line twists, but luckily with hard baits, you typically don't have to worry about that because they're not spinning the line around. They're usually wiggling back and forth, which doesn't create twists. Now, a lot of companies, when you buy a lure, they will have a split ring on the hard lure. And this happens a lot. Rapala, you know, uh, Strike King, right most of your major bait companies will have a split ring on there and it's easy just keep the split ring on and use the snap to attach so this one is technically a split ring to snap but a snap works you know just fine as well the one hard bait here I have an exception for is the glide bait and the glide bait I am never going to be doing anything but a direct tie and the reason why is because glide baits are very very sensitive to extra weight onto the bait they do a little wobble back and forth and any extra weight swivels weight you know little split shots anything affects the movement of the bait so for a glide bait i'm always going to go with a direct tie Alrighty, so now it is soft plastics. Any type of Sanko, soft plastic swim bait, jigs, 
tubes, anything of that nature, I am always gonna be doing a direct tie. And the reason why is that you need this bait to be natural. A lot of these baits that we're talking about now are finesse baits. They're gonna be on the bottom. You're gonna be, you know, rolling them slowly over rocks. A lot of guys fish clear water, right? And you don't want a big swivel or a big piece of metal hardware on there for the fish to see. I also think that that added weight on the end can affect the movement of a lure. So that is why, kind of like with the glide bait, I like to keep it as natural as possible. Here I have a great example for you guys. This is a Mega Bass Dark Sleeper, one of the best and most realistic swim baits on the market right now. If you notice how great it looks, here's what it would look like if it had a giant snap swivel on the end. Pretty ugly, huh? Alrighty, now we're on top water, one of my favorite ways to fish. And with this, it's gonna be very similar to the plastics. I like a direct tie on top water, and the reason why is that any extra swivels or gear there can greatly affect the movement that the lure was made to do. And this goes, you know, this goes with whopper ploppers, this goes with frogs, this goes with, you know, little poppers, uh, spooks, any of those baits, I do think added gear in the front can affect the movement, and I like to keep it as natural as possible. Another thing about the advantage of direct tie here, especially with frogs, is if you have an extra clip or something in the front, right, a snap, a split ring, whatever, it is going to collect grass and little pieces of stuff, especially if you're fishing a frog in like heavy cover, you know, big mats, what I like to call the snot, right? That, that gunk on the top. That's just gonna collect that gunk on your line. And a direct tie, especially with braid, is typically gonna cut right through all that. If you guys learned something from today's video, you're also gonna learn something from these two as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you guys next time on Humbug Videos.